Hey guys, Matt from Epsilon Mining. Today I got a new GPU in, a 3080 Ti, and today we're gonna to be installing this into the hanging rig and doing some overclocks and finding out a little bit of hash rates and calculating profit profitability. See you there. Hey guys, Matt from Upsilon Mining. Today we are coming back at you with a, another video. Today we have the Gigabit, Gigabyte uh, 3080 Ti, RTX 3080 Ti, LHR. So um, I got this guy off of Amazon. Um, I think I paid around 1400 Canadian dollars, which might be a little bit too much for some of you folks. Um, but considering the prices have been coming down quite a bit uh, and with the LHR unlock, uh, we can get some decent um, amounts of uh, hash rate out of this card. So let's put it over into this hanging rig. So basically this is the hanging rig I got upstairs. I'm just going to pull that 3080 Founders Edition out because it's throttling mad bad right now. It's like literally 40 mega hash on Ethereum, which is horrible just because it's a little bit warmer up here. Um, and I'm gonna put this in there so I can get a little more hash rate and then that card, the 3080 Founders Edition actually has uh, copper, plate, copper plates on the way soon. So I'll be moving that into another rig probably next week and uh, doing a video on that. So let's uh, switch it on over and we'll get on over into Hive OS. All right guys, before I actually do that, I just wanted to show you uh, quickly what we're working with here. This is the um, triple fan gigabyte card. Very nice. It doesn't have a light up uh, belief bar at the top. Um, but it's very nice, fan, uh, very nice GPU. It's got some good amount of heft to it. Feels really nice. Looks nice. Smells nice. If it feels right, it is right, guys. Now I'm not going to change thermal pads in this right away. I'm just going to put it in and see how it performs, um, and go from there. I do know some of the, a lot of the 3090s and 3080s require thermal pad replacements, uh, especially the full hash rate via. Uh, variants um, with these I have another 3080 I got from Asus that didn't require it didn't require a uh, thermal pad replace and it was getting it's getting around 78 mega hash with T-Rex so let's uh, let's get this guy into the rig and let's fire it up okay let, let's do it so there's a 3080 founders edition removed from uh, the hanging rig um, I really need to replace thermal pads or copper plate which is coming soon anyway so the issue was I did replace thermal pads I tried it like three times with the two millimeter thermal uh, thermal right pads on the back sorry on the, on, on the die side uh, inside the GPU I've also replaced the pads on side the on the back uh, plate as well and it's still it took I spent like a whole day or two just doing that I did at least three times switching pads in and out it was a waste of thermal pads and everything so I got really frustrated with it so I'm really hoping these thermal um, this copper plate from coolmygpu.com will make it better. But in the meantime, let's take a look here at our hanging rig. I don't generally like hanging rigs just because they take up so much space, but I mean, this is a cool looking thing that I have upstairs. I mean, we've got six GPUs in it right now, and I want to make these all LHR GPU GPUs, all 30 series, series LHR. So we have right now, we've got a 3080 Dell full hash rate. That'll get moved into one of the rigs downstairs. We got a... Um, 3080 LHR, 3080 TI LHR, which I just added in just now. And at the back there, we have a 3060 TI LHR and two 3060s LHR. And with um, the LHR unlock stuff that's come on the latest um, T-Rex and LOL miners, I mean, it's been great so far. Um, I have it powered by uh, a Rosewell uh, power supply down there that's powering the motherboard and some of the lower power cards. And I got one of these um, 2000 watt uh, power supplies here. They're just a Chinese kind of brand, but it seems to work just fine. I mean, this one didn't pop, uh, but you know, I got it off Amazon, but the other one did pop, which is an EVGA. So I really think it's a lot of it's luck of the draw, but I guess we'll see. I had no problem with that power supply. I actually have another one on the way. I also have another 1200 watt uh, HP power supply. I know some of you guys said, why, aren't, why don't I just use server power supplies? And the answer is I am actually in quite a few of the other rigs. I like them because they take up less room and they're generally enterprise server grade soft uh, hardware. They don't tend to have a lot of issues, although they have that really high wine, but I keep them out of my living area, so there's not a lot of issues. But this hanging rig's been pretty good. Let's power it on. So I'm just gonna power on the ATX power supply first up here, which is powering 
some of the rigs. Oh, that's not good. Make sure your wires aren't touching your fans. So we got this guy here, and let's power on the main power here. That'll turn on the motherboard. So if you guys do have two power supplies hooked up, always turn on the power supply that's not powering the motherboard first. Because if you turn on the other power supply uh, uh, first, like the motherboard first, and then the one afterwards, the motherboard might not pick up the um, the GPUs properly because they're not uh, being powered. So we actually have a Raspberry Pi screen. I know some of you guys did ask about this screen here. It is a Raspberry Pi screen. Oh, we had a crack down it. Damn it. I don't know where that crack came from. So I'm just gonna wait till it boots up here. Hopefully it boots up without any issues. We had the, all the lights coming on here. Is it on? I think it's on. It's hard to tell. Got my reflection there in the... Yep, it's coming on. It's really, um, it's a warmer day today. Well, not warm, but I mean, it's 16 degrees Celsius today. I like this rig. It's, it's, it's a, like, it looks very amateurish, but it almost looks like just, I don't know, very messy with all the wires. But I mean, someone comes in here and they see this upstairs. It's there. It's always a good conversation piece. Like what? You know, not, not that I have a lot of cut the company or anything like that, but okay, let's see. Let's take a look here. Um, can you guys see? I can't see that. There, I can see that. So we got six cards, 3060, a 3060 Ti, a 3080 Ti, a 3060, a 3080 Ti, and a regular 3080. So let's hop onto HiveOS and let's take a look at how this is performing. Yo guys, okay, so here we are in Hive OS, and we're gonna take a look at this 3080 Ti. I've since added a couple more cards, including another 3080 uh, Zotac uh, Ti. Uh, it was a fairly decent deal um, versus um, the gigabit, the gigabyte. So I got another one, on, uh, but a Zotac. I know there's issues with fans on Zotac fans. I myself have an entire rig of 3060s that have that are giving me nonstop issues with the fans. I think one of the fans is wobbling, but I digress. Um, so the 3080 Ti gigabit, a gigabyte right here, um, we have running at 109.6 mega hash, and I spent a couple days actually trying to overclock this and get it working. Uh, unfortunately, this is a bad issue, uh, or a bad case of silicon lottery, so I had to basically undervolt the um, undervolt the GPU to 290, the core is at minus 200, and the maximum at memory we can get is 1175. If I try pushing it much higher than that, I lose stability on the rig. I'm able to get around 114, 115 mega hash, but it's it's not stable. So basically what happens is it actually becomes quite unstable. And just for your information, we are on NB, NB minor 41.0, which is the LHR unlock variant. Um, and I'd like to give a shot with the latest uh, T-Rex at some point as well. Because uh, since I just tend to gravitate towards T-Rex Minor for all of my NVIDIA rigs. So right now we are pulling 109.6 mega hash and around 290 in software. I have not measured that at the wall, unfortunately. I am very sorry for that, guys. I know how you like me measurements at the wall. Um, but I'm assuming there's about a 15% difference. So we're probably pulling around 300, 305, which is still really good for 109 mega hash. If you contrast that with some of my 3090s, which are running here in the basement, we are pulling um, around 125 mega hash on my best rig here for uh, 27, sorry, at 314 watts in software. Now I know a lot of you are gonna scream, blah, 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 the memory temperature is too high and I've heard everything, but I mean, go around, check the other YouTube channels. Um, when you start putting uh, a lot of 3090s right next to each other into a single rig. Memory temps like this are not uncommon. The good thing is that uh, Micron, there are some uh, there are there's some information on the web about Micron making statements that 110 should be safe for the memory. So if it throttles, that's the worst that'll happen. Hopefully, uh, long term longevity. Like, is this card gonna last 10 years, or are this card gonna last only maybe seven years? It doesn't really matter at this point because by, by the time I hit seven years, I'm going to hope to ROI at that point. Even if ETH goes away, I'm hoping that another coin will come up and be mineable or even, even all the ETH that I've mined up until the merge will also jump up in value at some point. I know Bitcoin's in a dump right now and Ethereum and everything's basically in a dump right now. Uh, but if, uh, if you guys have faith, if I have faith, I know that the, the Ethereum and the crypto that we mine will have a good chance of shooting back up again. If not, you can get impatient and sell out like a lot of people are doing and then... 
uh, in previous bear markets, there were a lot of people shooting themselves in the foot after doing that. So I know that's kind of a random uh, digression there, but basically this 3080 Ti is doing really good. If you want to see a really good 3080 Ti, check out the 3080 Ti Zotac, which I just installed today. I'm pulling 120 mega hash at 289 in the software. So that's even 10 mega hash more than the other one. Uh, but we had to push the core to 1125 and a memory at 2445 with a power limit of 300 watts for 120 mega hash. That's rivaling my 3090s and even getting better power efficiencies, which is absolutely incredible. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to point that out there. If you can get your hand on a good deal for a 3080 Ti LHR, I would definitely recommend them. The only other issue is they are getting a little bit hot. If you take a look at the memories there, we are 102, 102. Uh, and this is with factory uh, pads and, and, and um, cooling which is actually really good. So, uh, I mean, if it starts getting really bad, I've been having some really hot days lately and it's been like pretty bad today. It was 28 degrees Celsius outside and inside the house was about 39, 38 degrees. And these these cards were throttling a little bit and getting quite a bit hot. So I'm, I might go around and uh, identify some of the cards that need repasting and thermal pads, but I'm basically doing it on an as needed basis. So I'm taking any card that's pumping past uh, 80, they're basically the highest ones first. So the first one I have right now, uh, it's having, I know a little bit, little bit of a uh, side note here. Uh, the first one that I'm noticing as an issue is the single fan 1660 Super. I'll be replacing the the, G, uh, the paste and probably the pads on that as well because that's getting like really high. It's like dangerously high. It's, it's freaking me out. Like today it was like around 86 degrees, which is way too high. This card's not gonna last long if I let it to continue to get that high. So I'm probably gonna replace those uh, in the next day or two at the very latest. I don't wanna spend another day doing that. Um, or another week or whatever going that hot because it can't be good for the, the GPU die hitting 86 degrees Celsius. Uh, and then I got a couple others that are spiking it as well. Some main, namely in the grow tent higher up in the top of shelves in the grow tent are getting hot. Um, and this uh, 3080 is also giving me some heat issues here. So I might go ahead and replace the, the paste and the pads on that. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it off there. Keep it quick and short today. If you like this video, please comment, uh, like, and smash that subscribe and like button and the notification bell so you get notified, notified when I release new videos. All right, guys, take it easy. See you in the next one.